Hello, I am Team Captain Neil, entrepreneur, engineering technologist, and problem solver. Hi, I'm Isabel, Team Member One, award-winning animator, artist, and fencer. Hello, I'm Sophie, Libipa Two, level moon designer, and Minecraft modder. And we are Project, Project Sky, Sky Captain. Captain. And this is our team video essay about what inspires us about the moon. Inspired by the moon, this is my tale. Mankind can create and do anything that he can dream of. Each time I see the moon, I am reminded of the most awe-inspiring moment of my life. This was the journey that Apollo 11 astronauts made to the moon, landing and walking on the moon, and returning home safely. Going to the moon, not because we should, but because we can, was what I understood from President JFK's speech to Congress. We were out of school for the summer, that July in 1969. I was at home in Chicago, watching the launch of the Apollo 11 mission on television, taking place at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. A Saturn V rocket launched and we watched the first, then second stages of the rocket separate successfully in flight. Minutes later, the third stage of the rocket put the command module Columbia and the lunar module Eagle into orbit around the Earth. After one and a half orbits around Earth, Apollo 11 heads for the moon. Three days later, they are in orbit around the moon. Astronaut Michael Collins pilots the command module Columbia. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin command the lunar lander Eagle. The Eagle separates from Columbia, then Eagle lands on the moon. Neil Armstrong is the first man on the moon and makes the statement, that's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. Armstrong is joined minutes later by Buzz Aldrin. An American flag is planted. Lunar samples are gathered by hand, and a plaque is left commemorating the fallen crew of Apollo 1. It is imprinted with the words, Here, men from the planet Earth first set foot upon the moon, July 1969 A.D. We came in peace for all mankind. Eagle lifts off the moon's surface, docks with Columbia, and our astronauts return safely home. The moon presented a challenge that mankind accepted and accomplished. What once took the resources of a large nation and its citizens to accomplish will now be accomplished by a single private company. Mankind can create and do anything he can dream of. So that is what inspires me about the moon. And what about you, Isabel? Well, for the past year, every night, I go outside to look at the stars. And as I just stand there in the moonlight, I can't help but be filled with this sense of wonder and awe that only the moon can give me. The moon balances out the immense darkness to a point where what you see is changed. Under the dark light, the world is turned to perfection. The silhouettes I gaze at seem frozen in time. I can't see the flaws I could easily see under the revealing sun. But under the moon, things stay what they are, but are changed for the better. When I stand there beneath the billions of stars, I like to throw my hands up into the sky and pretend to hold our moon in my hands. The effect is a feeling of monumental hope and beauty, and at the same time, feeling that I am merely dust. I guess what I'm trying to say is what inspires me about the moon is that when I'm out there feeling the world stay still, I can't help but feel like anything is possible. 
I feel safe and secure knowing there's someone out there in the dark of night watching over me. And, well, that's what inspires me about the moon. And, finally, Sophie has crafted a level on Little Big Planet 2, on the moon, of course, and it's an exciting adventure about what inspires her about the moon. And with my help and the help of her friend, it all came together. So, Sophie? It all started with, with me walking up to my treehouse. Hey, Sophie. Oh, I'm so bored. Why don't we all just go to the mall? Uh, we did that yesterday. How about we just go get something to eat? Okay. I'll get it. Hello? Hello. This is Agent Walker. We have an important mission for you. Come on to the porch. Whoa! Whoa! Hello, my name is Agent Walker, and I presume that you are Agent Sophie, Agent Isabel, and Agent Alyssa, right? You're right. Yeah. Anyway, we have been losing connection with our rover on the moon. We need you all to go up there and see what's going on. We accept your mission. This is so exciting. These are weird spacesuits. Yes, they are. Come from here. Here we go. Ah! Ah! Ouch! That is the last time I use Apple Maps. One small step for Sack, one giant leap for Sack Kind. Really? What? Oh, look, there's the rover. Guys? Guys? Oh no, she's floating away! Whoa. I'm back. Gravity is so weird here. Well, here's the rover. Man, this little guy looks pretty beat up. Oh my gosh! Ah! <laughs> um, Sophie, that was, that was an amazing story, but what does that have to do with what inspires you about the moon? Well, the aliens and stuff weren't all that very realistic, but... I guess what I'm trying to say is, like you guys, what inspires me about the moon is that it gives me the vision to believe that anything is possible. Oh. oh. Yeah. Well, that is cool. And all of the things that you made on the level design for Little Big Planet with the moon as a theme were fantastic. We yeah. Definitely, definitely. I guess what inspires us all about the moon is that it gives us to believe that anything is possible. This is the end of phase one for us. This is Team Sky Captain, 
signing in for Moonbots 2015. 2015. Bye. Bye.